Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Monday morning. It's the third day of July, 2023. And this is the morning briefing. And uh, as I look out the window from the home office this morning, it is another warm morning and sunny, but it isn't as warm as what we saw yesterday. Temperatures across the board are trending lower. And so today is going to be a cooler day. Not a cool day, but it is going to be a cooler day. For downtown Sacramento, the weekend, plenty hot. Uh, 109 both days. Uh, on Saturday, that was good enough for a record high, surpassed the old record by a degree, and yesterday tied the record high of 109. But today, temperatures are trending lower, and that's what we'll be seeing. That's going to be the overall trend for the next couple of days is some cooler weather. But it's what's funny is that it'll be trending cooler with temperatures in the mid-upper 90s today, and a couple of well, even as much as last week, that would have been considered a very warm day. We didn't really see anything in the upper 90s until last Friday. It has been a cool spring, but all of that is now uh, behind us. So let's show you what's happening the first thing this morning. Hey, the marine layer, that's a big thing. Yeah, the marine layer back into the Bay Area, back into the Salinas Valley and Monterey. We didn't have as much of this over the weekend. The marine layer had kind of gotten squashed. And if you want some cooler weather, this is one of the ingredients you need. So this is the two-dimensional view of that. And well, as I'm looking at this also, you can see it's somewhat hazy in the valley that you pick up rather well with that uh, low sun angle. And there is some cloudiness well off to the east. We will not be seeing anything in the way of thunderstorms in the Sierra. So this is the Fort Ord profiler. And this is the three-dimensional view, if you will, of the, uh, of the uh, marine layer. And this is 24 hours ago, time increases this way. And so this color here, that's the warm air over the cold air. And over the course of the weekend, the marine layer was down to about 1,000 feet. And now it's been building closer to 2,000 feet. And so this is the other ingredient you need, you need is not only to have marine layer, but if it's squashed down below 1,000 feet, it doesn't do much for the valley. But if it starts getting up to around 2,000 feet and you can add in some onshore wind, well, now you're talking. So let's talk about the wind just a little bit. This is the, the way the model initializes it this morning. And this may be a little bit underdone because right now in Fairfield, the Travis Air Force Base, the winds are gusting into the 30s. The rest of the areas, the winds are very, very light. But um, in, in, uh, at Travis right now, those winds are just howling along. At, and so it's like the air conditioner just got turned on. And so this is at 2 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Look at that. Solano County turning windy, turning uh, rather breezy in Sacramento County, San Joaquin County, and that cooler air spreading through Stanislaus County, maybe not as much into Butte County, which is why Butte County will remain warm. And maybe the lower foothills, areas below Highway 49 may start to see that, but above that, really nothing in the way of mixing. And the east side of the Sierra will also start to see some of that that breeze. So that's uh, at five o'clock this afternoon. The Delta breeze continues into the night. And then let's get into the day tomorrow to see what that wind is going to look like. The wind starts flat in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it picks up once again. This is five o'clock again on Tuesday afternoon. And the thing is that once a lot of the hot air gets scoured out, uh, as well as other changes that take place, you, once, uh, you don't need the, the strong delta breeze, but what we will see this afternoon, let me back this up to the five o'clock today. You know, once this is going on, you'll have both the, uh, the cooler temperatures in the valley at, at five o'clock in the afternoon, as well as uh, cooler overnights. Overnights over the weekend stayed in the 70s. This morning, 60s. We'll be back down to the upper 50s and low 60s first thing on Tuesday morning. So there you go. The heat is just about done. And part of that is, in due, is due uh, to a weak little trough that's squashing the ridge. And we're now finally getting into our typical summer pattern. And the summer pattern for us is you have a high that's somewhere down here around the four corners. And you have troughs that come by occasionally and kind of nudge the high a little bit farther east. And when troughs leave, the high comes back a little bit farther west. When it goes east, we cool off. When it comes west, we heat up. That's, that's the main trick to our, our summer weather. So here goes that trough by this afternoon. This is Tuesday. That high is still kind of squashed. Let's see, yeah, this is Tuesday afternoon. 
and a little trough comes by keeping temperatures lower. So here's the high down here, the center of the highs down here. And so, yeah, that's a good flow for us. This is later in the week. But as we go through, let's see, I think let's see another little trough going by. So that keeps temperatures in the 90s. This is into Saturday morning. I think it's beyond this that after this one sweeps out, that the high starts to come back in. Uh, here it comes. No? Well, either way, this is, this is like I said, this is our typical summer pattern. And the models kind of go back and forth on pushing the high in. And when it comes in, we'll see temperatures above 100 again. When it's not there, we'll see temperatures, because it's July, generally in, in the 90s. So the bottom line this morning is that parts of the valley, especially, um, let's say, from Marysville to the north, will still be at or above 100 this afternoon. Sacramento may be close. The foothills will stay very warm, but even there we'll start to see some cooling. And, but it will turn somewhat breezy this afternoon. It'll be a refreshing delta breeze that'll make for a much cooler evening. But if you're, let's say, in Rio Vista or Discovery Bay or Fairfield, it's, it's going to be kind of windy uh, throughout the day. As that, uh, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the air conditioner's right there at the Carcana Strait. And the, car, the air conditioner's been turned up to full. And if you're in Fairfield, you're standing right in front of the air conditioner. <laughs> you're just getting the full blast of it. Well, let's say uh, Sacramento's on the other side of the room just waiting for the cool air to arrive. <laughs> so that's the best analogy that I can, I can give you. Um, so that's everything I've got for you this morning. Yep, cooler air is on the way. And um, temperatures will be trending down, certainly much lower than what we have seen over the weekend. And the 109s we saw over the weekend, we don't see anything like that returning anytime soon. So because, let's see, it's Monday, I will be on KCRA at uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, no Facebook chat tonight. Actually, no Facebook chats this week uh, because uh, Tuesday is the 4th of July, and yeah, no need for that. And then, um, and then I'll be taking vacation days on Thursday and Friday. But there'll be a morning update tomorrow morning and again on Wednesday. So that's everything I've got for you this morning. Enjoy the cooler air that is on the way. Make it a great day. I'll talk to you later.